Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve this practice problem 4.2 from William Hay Pope, Engineering Circuit Analysis. For the circuit in the figure 4.5, compute the voltage across its current source. Okay, we have two current source there. We have this, this 3 ampere current source and this 7 ampere current source. And we are asked to find out the voltage across this current source and this current source. So maybe let's do it here, right? And we are given that this is a reference node. So let's draw ground symbol from here, meaning that our voltage here will assume to be zero, okay? And let's name this node here. So I will have this as node A. And this one, this is also an essential node, right? So I will need to name this. So I will have this as node B. And this one, we have this node here. Let's name this as node C. So we are asked to find out the voltage of A and voltage of C. So VA and VC. And what can we do from here? Uh, yeah, of course, we need to assume our direction of the current. So I will assume this will going to the right, to the right, to the right, and then this one going down, going down. And for the current source, I think I will just follow the sign of the arrow. So I'll have here and I will have that. Okay. So what we need to do is we do KCL at each nodes. So I will need to do KCL at node A, node B, and node C. So first, let's do KCL at node A. KCL at node A. Okay. Good. So let's use screen. And KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the currents that goes out. In node A, I think all the current is going out, right? This is going out, this is going out, and that is going out. So I can just put zero in the current that goes in, and that will equal to all the currents that goes out. This one is going out, so I will have three ampere there. And then this one that going to the right is also going out from node A. So I will have VA minus VB divided by the resistance between them, which is 1. And then this current is also going out. So I will have VA minus VC divided by the resistance between it. So I will have 2. Yeah. So, so now let's clear up the denominator by multiplying both sides by 2. Okay. So I will have here 0 is equal to 6 plus 2 VA minus 2 VB plus this one will be canceling these two out, right? So I will have VA minus VC, okay? And then I can just sum up this VA, so I'll have 3 VA and then minus 2 VB, and then minus VC, and I can just move this 6 to the left hand side, so I will have minus 6, right, and let's write it here, minus 6, and we cannot do anything more than this, so let's save this as equation number 1, okay, so we have three variables, so we need to more equation, right? So three variables needs three equation. Okay, so now let's do KCL at node B. KCL at node B. What does KCL say? KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. And now the currents that goes in, that will be VA minus VB divided by the resistance between them, which is 1. And 
and that equal to the current head going out this one and that one for this one i will have vb minus zero divided by three and then for this one i will have vb minus vc divided by four right okay so now how to clear up the denominator i think we can multiply both sides by 12 right okay multiplying both sides by 12 will resulting in this side for to be 12 va minus 12 vb that will equal to 4 vb and then plus 3 vb minus 3 vc right okay so now let's just throw all of them to the left hand side so i will have 12 va minus for vb i will have 12 minus 12 minus 4 minus 3 so i will have minus 19 yeah i think minus 19 of vb and then for 3 vc here the sign will become positive so i'll have 3 vc and all of this will equal to zero nothing that we can do from here so let's just save it as equation number two okay so now let's do kcl at node c kcl at node c okay we are playing the same game again so kcl saying that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that going out. At not C, I see one, two, three. Three currents is going in, three currents are going in, and one current is going out. Okay, so I will have three currents here. This one will be VA minus VC. VA minus VC divided by two. And this one will be plus Vb minus Vc divided by 4. And this one will be plus Vc minus 0 divided by 5. Ah, no, no, that is wrong because that is going out, right? Okay, so this one is going in. So I'll have 7. Okay. And then plus, not plus. We have all three currents that going in already here. And that should be equal to this one, right? So that one will be Vc minus 0 divided by 5. Okay, how to clear up the denominator? I think we need to multiply all of this by 20. Okay. If I will have 20 here, I will have 10 VA minus 10 VC. And then plus 4 and 20 will be 5. So I'll have 5 VB minus 5 VC. And then plus... 7 multiplied by 20, that will be 140. And that should equal to this one. 5 and 20 will cancel into 4, so I'll have 4 VC. 4 VC, right? Okay, now what can we do from here? Let's simplify this one. So I'll have 10 VA, no more VA from here. And VB, I think I only have plus 5 VB. But for VC, I will have minus 10, minus 5, and minus 4, right? So I will have minus 19 VC. And I can move this plus 140 to the right-hand side. So I'll have minus 140, okay? So now let's save this as equation number three. So we have three equation and three variables. Let's just put it into calculator, right? So I will have three from the equation number one, three minus two and minus one. 
And then from the equation number 2, I will have 12 minus 19 and 3. And from the equation number 3, I will have 10, 5, and minus 19. Right? And then I will have VA, VB, and PC here. And that will equal to minus 6, 0, and minus 100. 40 right okay let's just plug this into calculator this one hmm. set up equation and we have three variables here so equation number two and we can just plug in that three and then minus two and then minus one and then minus six and then 12 and then minus 19 and then 3 and then 0 and then 10 and then 5 and then minus 19 and then minus 140 Okay, hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation. So we will have uh, correct answers. Okay. X, X is VA, right? So VA is 89 divided by 17. And we need to convert this into decimal. And 5.235. Okay, good. Because that is exactly the same as the answer key. So I have VA is equal to 5.235 and the unit is 4 so this is the first answer and then we are asked for VC right because this one is VC so let's find out the VC in calculator that will be the Z of the equation uh, okay, I have 195 divided by 17, and that will be 11.47 volt. Okay, let's write it 11.470 volt. And I did not think, I don't think that we made uh, mistakes in the calculation. The answer is correct. So, okay, that's it. Thank you for watching and do not forget to like, subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye bye.